Madeline Dingis here with tonight's breaking story. Did you know your local bars are not recycling? Think of how much energy these bars could save if they do. That's right, one bar alone could save roughly 274,000 kilowatt hours per month. After a recent phone survey, it was discovered that nine bars in Bloomington do recycle, including local favorites such as Oliver Winery, Upland, The Back Door, and Atlas. Well, seven bars, including Upstairs, Kilroy's on Kirkwood, and The Jungle, do not. After this short commercial break, we will check in with concerned local citizen Chloe Bellish on what she's doing to change the local habit. Here we are outside Kilroy's on Kirkwood with Chloe Bellish. Chloe, welcome. And please, tell us a little bit about your project. Well, here at SPIA, we care greatly about recycling. Mm -hmm. Us people, you know, we have a big passion for it. And Beautiful. Um, I Beautiful. just wanted to see if there's other people out there who care and just as much as I do. And are there? Yes, there are. I found that 90% of people want their bar to recycle. 90%? 90%. Holy cow. So, I made this really cool flyer to hand out to the bars. This flyer? That flyer. This is pretty informational. And it has social norms from my survey. What's a social norm? It's like peer pressure. Ah, yes. I love peer pressure. So, we're trying to peer pressure these bars mm. into recycling. And so what happened next? So I gave that really cool fire to the seven bars in Bloomington that do not currently recycle. And then I called them up and said, are you recycling yet? And? Well, found out it hasn't been long enough, so I don't really How know. long was it? A week. Yeah. Oh, not long enough. Not, not long. Not long. long. So um, they seemed pretty into it, uh -huh. but um, I'm going to stock them every day uh -huh. until they decide to recycle. Chloe, what a phenomenal project you have here. I look forward to seeing the results after a little bit more time. Thank you for being here at Kilroy's. Um, after this short break, we'll be back with more on the topic. Well, that Chloe sure is making waves. Sounds like she's well on her way to saving Mother Earth. Well, her project is off to a solid start. A-plus work, if you ask me. Sure sounds like they could have used a longer timeline. One week just isn't long enough for a bar to implement an entire recycling program. During the break, I spoke briefly with Chloe in more detail, and she mentioned that the informational flyers were not handed directly to management. I wonder if that could have made a difference. She also showed me some disturbing pictures of the current recycling state at a local bar. Quite a disaster by the looks of it. One thing is for sure, Chloe's Kicking Glass and Taking Names initiative is definitely increasing awareness and general recycling knowledge amongst Bloomington bars. That's all for tonight's report. Thanks for joining us. Good night and see you later.